This is Elliot Schaefer here with your WLFC Instant Replay tutorial. Okay, as you can see, the Instant Replay device is already in the screen right now, and uh, this is the device you'll be using in the WLFC Studio. As you can see, there's a lot of different types of buttons here on the left. You can select any of these buttons, and uh, what these buttons will do is they'll have a grouping of different sound clips. Instant Replay allows you to play sound clips that are not in Simeon or in Wavecart, and uh, once you choose those um, that grouping, you can scroll through the sound clips in that group by hitting these arrow buttons right here. Um, uh, these groups include PSAs, news legal IDs, songs, and uh, just a, a bunch of different things. They even have crickets, uh, the the cricket sound in it. But I mean, as you can see, there's different groups here and uh, different uh, clips. If you want to play the song, all you got to do is hit the play button down at the bottom as long as the instant replay is set up on the board um, to your left that you learned about before. And I'll show you how to do it. Once you get to the board, you uh, that's the instant replay channel. You pot up or move the slider up to where you need it. I mean, you can have it lower or you can uh, move it up. If it's like a song, you can move it up higher and uh, make sure the channel is in program if you want it or you can even put it in audition but for this um, you'll want to put it in program and then you'll have to turn the uh, the channel on by hitting the red button so it's live on air so when you get back to the instant replay you'll hit the play button and then you're good to go and it's playing over the air as long as the channel is still on and that's it for your WLFC Instant Replay Tutorial. This is Elliot Schaefer, and have a nice day. What's up? This is Elliot Schaefer here with your WLFC in studio control board tutorial. So, this is what the in studio control board looks like. The first thing that you're going to need to be learning when using the control board is how to operate the mic. Okay, as you can see, the mics are over to the left right here. Uh, the mic one is currently potted up in program and is off right now. But if you want to turn the mic on, all you got to do is hit this button right here okay and now the mic is on if you hit the yellow button you'll turn the mic off and you're not broadcasting over there so if you have the mic on you're broadcasting over there if you have the mic off you're not uh, basically that's it for the buttons but I mean remember the slider controls your volume and there's these little assignments up here yeah currently the mic one is in program you can also put it in audition mono and preview but the two that you're probably worried about the most is program and audition program allows you to broadcast over the air you must keep your mic in program if you want to be heard over the air audition allows you to communicate between people connected to the board so you can turn off program and not be heard over the air and put it in audition and talk to people between the board and, or you can do both at the same time so that people can on the board can hear you Either way, that's how you use your assignments. And if you move over to the right, you'll see 
the meters. The meters allow you to view what kind of sound is coming out of your channels. So like if something is too loud, you want to take your levels and pod them down or your slider and pod them down so that you're not too loud. You'll notice that if it's too loud, it'll be bouncing into the red. Now farther to the right, you'll see these three channels right here. Um, they'll always stay on, they'll always be in program, and they'll always be in this kind of area up here. You can see that the levels are will always stay right about there. There's Simeon 1, Simeon 2, and Simeon 3. That's what they're called. And the reason that they always stay on is because they play all the music all the time. Basically, if even when we're in Wavecar, even when we're in Simeon, we're running we're running our music through each one of these channels. If you see on this image right here, the slider will always stay between the 10 and the point. So always keep it there. As you move to the right, you'll see that there's these little knobby things over here. Actually, they are knobs. Um, you'll have your your uh, studio knob, your headphone knob, and uh, your CR knob. The, the CR knob is basically your studio volume. So uh, basically the CR knob will control how loud it is in the studio. The headphone will control how loud the volume is in your headphones. And the studio knob doesn't really do anything at all. So it's kind of funny that the studio knob does nothing. But anyways, as you can see, if you turn them, they'll adjust the volume. And that's how you work them. Uh, up higher, basically what you're going to need to know how to do is use these right little assignments here. Uh, program and audition and mono and preview um, these will allow you to select uh, what is coming out of the monitors at the top there are going to be the speakers that are coming uh, at the top of the studio so if you have it in program it'll play the music that's in program and so forth the stuff that's coming out of audition will be played with audition and that's it for your WLFC in studio control board tutorial. This is Elliot Schaefer and have a nice day. This is Elliot Schaefer here with your WLFC AP Wire tutorial. The first thing you do when you walk into the WLFC studio is look to your right and you will see the AP Wire computer. The AP Wire computer is the computer you'll be using to select your state summaries and national summaries to retrieve your news for your show that you'll be doing. And uh, once you get into the program, you'll see on the left that the state summaries are selected currently. And then once you do that, you select the first or most recent news minute you see, then print it off and hit the OK button, the print button, and then the OK button once more. Once you do this, um, you look to your right and you'll see that your news is printing off onto the printer. And once that happens, you'll be going on to the national summaries. You select the national summaries. Once again, select the most recent news minute you see. Then you do the same process of printing off your news. And in special cases, you'll be uh, printing off sports stories. And as you can see, the sports stories is selected. And then you can choose from a various uh, different amounts of sports stories. You'll have different sports that you can choose from. So that's it. That's been your APY tutorial. This is Elliot Schaefer, and have a nice day.